So this is John Norton, a TV graphics designer from Herne Hill in London, up there in the audience, flatmate Rachel. She says John never tidies the flat or washes up, and a housekeeper would be a very useful purchase if he wins big tonight. He does say if he wins a lot of money, he'll happily retire. That's it. Finish. Did I say that? You did say that. <laughs> you said that this afternoon. I wrote it down and just said it. Well, yeah, I'd happily retire. Definitely. What do you do? You get bored? Uh, no, I don't get bored. But um, if no, you... I, 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 I work too much, really. And you have been on television before. You were once on Blue Peter. Um, I was, yes. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Grinned a bit like I am doing now. Um, it was a judo judo thing, martial arts thing. Oh, so you're one of, you're one of those? You're a, a judo man? I used to be when I was fit and young, yeah. OK, lots of luck. 15 questions, £1 million, three brand new lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is for £100. Which of these refers to mischievous behaviour? Ape trade. Monkey business. Gorilla enterprise. Chimpanzee venture. I'll go for B, uh, monkey business. Right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> this is for 200 quid, here it is, you're 14 away from the next million. Which of these is a road safety feature? Cat's eyes, dog's eyes, cow's eyes, bull's eyes. I was hoping fox eyes were going to come up there, but uh, I'll go for cat's eyes. Right answer, two hundred pounds. <laughs> right, John, number three for three hundred quid, thirteen from a million. No use of any lifeline so far. Here it is. William Tell is famous for doing what with an apple? Juggling one, shooting at one, eating one, making a pie from one. Well, I hope it's the one uh, the William Tell that I know, which is uh, shooting at me. Miss Sunset, it's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> OK, question number four for £400. Here it comes. You're two away from a guaranteed first big master and one pound for pounds. Here's question number four. Which word goes before eel, shock and guitar to make well-known phrases? Gas. Nuclear. Arafin. Electric. I'm glad electric came up. I was getting worried before that. <laughs> Not paraffin. The paraffin <sighs> eel. No, no, you got me wondering. Mm -hmm. No, I'll go for electric. Right answer, you got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, John, you got 500 quid. This is for £1,000. Here it is. What is the ingredient in concrete that sets it hard? Sand. Gravel. Cement. Water. Um, let's see. I reckon that'd be cement. If you get this wrong, you won't be welcome on any building site. Um, final answer? I think so. Yep, it's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> so now, John? Starting to wonder about that one. Hey? Starting to wonder about that one. It's always a big sigh of relief. Uh, whatever stage you get to a £1,000, it's a big right. I'm guaranteed to go home with that. Whatever happens, everybody can hold their head up high. You've got three lifelines. Question number six, if you play it, and you might as well, would bring you £2,000 if you give me the right answer. Here it is. Which of these is a light, two-wheeled vehicle used in Asian countries? Luge. Kayak. Sampan. Rickshaw. Well, assuming Rick Shaw isn't a person. Or Kayak. <laughs> or Kayak. Or Sam Pan. Could be Sam Pan, another person. Could be Rick Shaw and Sam Pan. Yes. But I'll go for Rick Shaw. Final answer. Shaw, Rick. Shaw, Shaw. It's the right answer. You got £2,000. <laughs> Right, you're nine away from a million. This is question number seven for £4,000. Here it is. Which fictional detective is assisted by Captain Hastings? Miss Marple. Lord Peter Whimsey. Father Brown. Hercule Poirot. That's worth £4,000. You've got £2,000. Captain Hastings. 
detective novels are not, not my forte. Um, can I uh, ask the audience? You can, that's sort of how it works. Yeah. Okay, audience, on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question, let's get John up to £4,000. Which fictional detective is assisted by Captain Hastings? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 11% say Miss Marple, 14% Lord Peter Whimsey, 3% Father Brown, big majority for Hercule Poirot. You don't have to play this, you don't have to go with them, it's your call. It's quite hard. 72% is pretty good. I'll They're trust a funny lot then. I'll go with the audience. Final answer? Yes. It's the right answer. Well done, everybody. Okay, you've got £4,000, you've got two pounds left. Have a look at question number eight. It's worth £8,000. Here it is. The musical Cabaret is set in which city? Berlin, Rome, Paris, Vienna. I think it's Berlin. Final answer. I think so. See the film? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Right answer, you've got 8,000 pounds. Okay, still got 50-50, still got that important phone a friend. Question number nine is for 16,000 pounds. In 2000, which football club bought the Frenchman David Ginola? In 2000, who bought David Ginola? Leeds United, Aston Villa, Middlesbrough, Arsenal. 2000, yeah, Villa. Final answer. John Green. So right answer, you've got 16,000 pounds. Right. And that's all for tonight's show. Earlier on, Tracy Allen went back to Burnley with 16,000 pounds. Darren Korn took home 8,000 pounds. Techwin Whittock still pocketing the ground. John Norton here is on £16,000 and he has two lifelines remaining. We're back Tuesday night. Let's see you'll be joining us then. Helen Jones, Janie McCarthy, Jimmy Hannon, Dane Andrews, Helen Jefferson, Dave Evans, Carol Masters, Erica Wainwright, Jenny Lumley and Nick Hulse. Now don't forget the lines are now open for our parents and kids special to 0906 Remember, we're back Tuesday. Join us then for another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good night.